it's Mr. Bones. But don't be scared, he's really easy to make, so join us. Hi, this is Tweak. Today we're going to make a skeleton. Actually, I've made these. Might make them again in a future episode, but today I'm gonna to go for the whole skeleton, the whole body. So here we go. Product supplies for this project are cardboard. You'll need an X-Acto knife to cut the cardboard and some scissors to help you along with that. You'll need some paint, white, black, and yellow. You will also need some paint brushes, some water, and some hot glue. The last thing you will need is a couple of little flickering battery powered candles. We're going to be using cardboard again today. I'm surrounded by cardboard. We're in the middle of a reset on our set. And what you see behind me will be altered a little bit. Today, let's work with some of the cardboard that's been left over. White comes in very handy if you're going to make a skeleton. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. What I'm going to do, I took a sketch of a skeleton. I made a skeleton head and I cut that out of cardboard and then I traced it onto a piece of this 3D cardboard that came in, this nice webbed cardboard. And I had cut out different body parts. I'd cut out a hip and I'd cut out some ribs. And to put this all together, I need to start first with a spine piece of cardboard. I just curved it at the top a little bit. That's my start. To that I'm going to attach the skull. And I'm going to use that as a guide. Very rough drawn skull and I'm just going to lay him there. I will glue him in a moment. And I've got another piece here, a triangular piece that I'm going to use for his chest. So you can see how he's going to be constructed here. And then I had a piece that looked like a regular bone, like a dog bone. And I'm going to use that as his collar up here. And then I'm going to attach some ribs. And then I'll attach his hips. And we'll go from there. Let's do his spine first. His spine in his head. Take some glue. Very skeleton -y and creepy. That's what we're going for here. His head is up. We're going to attach his chest. And I'm just going to place that right there along the spine. The spine will hold everything together. I'm taking the collarbone piece and I'm gonna attach it up here, just under his neck. You want to see just a little bit of white there. This is gonna represent his chest. I've got ribs here. Now these are too long. I just wanted to give you an idea. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna cut it. He needs all his ribs. Actually, he doesn't need any of his ribs anymore. <laughs> We want to see them. I'm calling mine Mr. Bones. And what else would I call him? <laughs> okay, so we got some ribs going here. That's just kind of the base because I'm going to put more horizontal ribs as well. You know, I want his, this is his hips. Does it look like hips? Well, it's going to. Okay, we've got the head, the collarbone, the ribs, the hips. Let's add the legs. And the legs. I just took, again, two random pieces. Stay on the spine, because that holds them all together. And I'm going to go ahead and attach them there. I cut out a couple of feet. I just cut out, it looks like Neanderthal feet, but they're gonna be skeleton feet today. A right foot and a left foot. Get a little more glue here. You could do this whole project with just flat cardboard. It doesn't have to be this thick stuff. Glue threads everywhere. We could call them spider webs. Okay. And this foot is here, so we got his feet. Oh, let's see how he's looking. Wow. Oh my goodness, he's getting tall. Can you see the whole thing so far? Let's see, here we go. Arms, again. Just two random pieces. Now, these ones you can angle out however you wish. And you're gonna start up here at the collarbone. And then you're gonna decide how long you want them. Usually a hand comes right about mid-thigh. So I'm thinking 
Oh, that's the right hand. And I have to cut out the left hand still. Right hand, left hand, there we go. So I'm going to, see I just cut out a random piece and I cut some fingers into it. Okay, so we've got a right hand and a left hand. I want, yeah, I want the piece to come right about there. I, I'm gonna take a little bit off, just a little bit. This skeleton had both his hands, lucky him. Now over to this part here. Next, I want to add some more ribs. Five ribs are going on Mr. Bones. So I'm gonna measure the next one will be a little shorter than the first. Move on that side of it. That's number two. I think I'm gonna cut them out so I know. Number three, I have enough spacing a little shorter than the one ahead of it. A little test here, see if I've got everything I need before we start painting. So we've got his head, his collarbone, his arms, hips. I think I've got everything set. I'm going to pull these little glue strings off and then I'm going to start painting. I'm just going to use acrylic white and I'm just going to go everywhere I see a bone and get some white. Here we go. You can either leave those ragged edges. Right now I haven't decided so I'm just going to paint on the top and I'll decide how much I want to paint inside. I like the little shadowy areas that are coming out. Makes them look more bony. Slather on the white. You do not have to be particular. I just know I'm gonna get paint on me. Mr. Bones, it seems like he'd be a little nicer than that. But he doesn't care anymore, he's dead. Okay, I'm leaving all these gaps. I'm liking these gaps. And let's flip him over and catch the other side. Okay, I've got one coat. And I would like to go again, just to brighten him up a little bit. Oh my gosh, the 3D effect is very cool. So I like to just catch the top with the white paint and to leave all the little nooks and crannies. He has a real creepy appearance, I like it. Okay, Mr. Bones, he's all dry. Dry bones, there's a joke there somewhere. <laughs> and now let's work on his hips, and then we're gonna work on his skull. That will be interesting. I'm going to dump in some black paint. I don't need a lot, but I need to highlight areas on his body. Up his hands, just a few. Give him more of a skeletal look. If you wanted, you could go across his bones too. Like you're seeing some knuckle. Let's do it to his feet. I'm just gonna come straight up. I'm gonna flip him around. I don't want to do too much to his toes. You get the idea that there's bones down there. Now we're going to work on the other hand. Just a little bit of black. Just a little bit of the lines of where his, his bony fingers would be. The skull. You can go ahead and freehand this, but I'm a little bit unsure. I would like to take my stencil I made to cut it out, and I'll just take my pencil, and I'll give myself a little bit of help by drawing it in before I paint it. It doesn't have to be real perfect because it's a skeleton. Okay, and they have a weirdo nose. And there's usually a line or two going across. And then we've got the teeth. Now the teeth can be however you want them. And when you paint, you can stay inside the lines. You can go a little out if you want, but we've got the basic idea. It's a skeleton, so it can be as gnarly as you want. Okay, I like that. That tooth is a little bit, oh, I straightened it up. Now let's do his nose. There's one eye socket. Get the other one. I'm going to take a little bit of white. 
So I want a bit of a gray there instead of a black. Just to put a little bit of highlights in this skull. Just a teeny titch of white. The creep factor increases. I'm liking Mr. Bones. We're gonna fix his eyes, then we're gonna add a candle. First, let's take the tiniest bit of yellow. And I'm just going to put a little blob of yellow on right on the black. Just give it one drop. How creepy does he look right now? But we're gonna creep him up a little more. So I'm just gonna spread this out a little bit. Next, I'm gonna take the tiniest bit of white. And I'm gonna bring a little more highlight into his eye. Just take a little bit of white and just, just touch it. Come in like that. And then I'm gonna do it the same on the other side. A few things to finish here now. His eye is all highlighted, and we're gonna take a couple of these little electronic candles. Turn them on, they have a little battery, an on-off switch. You can get these online. They come probably six to a pack at a local crafts store, and you can get them pretty expensive, maybe a couple bucks for six of them. So I picked up a pack, and what you're gonna do is trust yourself to push this through the cardboard. Make sure it's dry first. Okay, it's dry. And I'm going to line up anywhere where that eye is, and I'm going to push it through. You could make a spot first if you want. Oh, okay. So it came up there. And now I'm going to do the same on this side. Come down where I think the eyeball is. Ooh, pretty good, huh? Then, if they are not going to stay, which it looks like they're a little bit of loose, I'm going to take a little bit of tape and put on the back side to hold them in place. But the whole thing is you want the effect and you want to be able to take them in and out every year. So right now, I'm going to pull these out. See? You know where you're going to put them in again. And then clean up this little bit and make them look a little nicer. So just those little pieces that were hanging on there. And then once I get those little pieces taken out, take my paintbrush and I'm going to use the paintbrush to make the holes a little bit smoother. There we go. That's where your lights are going to go through. He is dry. Let's varnish him. Okay, varnish. Here again, I'm just going to lay the varnish right on the cardboard. like. I was kind of sloppy with the varnish. I like the little bits of goo are hanging here and there. Make him look a little more ghoulish. Boy, he's so shiny. I thought he was wet. I'm going to flip him over. I'm going to put just a little bit of glue right there to hold that in place. A little bit of glue. Not a lot. But you also want to be able to pull that out if you want to. And just punch this back through the spot and just hold it in place for a moment. And that stays in place, good. Let's do it on this one too. Just a little bit of glue. Punch it through. And hold it in place. Now when you turn these on, piece of cord to hang him by. Put these two together. And just gonna lay some glue on there. Glue it on there. Okay, that's gonna hold. I'm going 
take a little piece of just to make sure that stays secure. I'm just gonna hold that right over. And now I know for sure that this cord's not going to pull off and we'll hold his weight even though he just a bunch of bones. Couldn't help myself, sorry. <laughs> the glue is dry. <laughs> we have Mr. Bones. And there you have it. No bones about it. Mr. Bones is ready to be hung somewhere. I know that sounds bad, Mr. Bones, but that is what you do. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe to our channel. I would love to know, did you make a Mr. Bones for your house? And if you did, send me a picture. I'd love to see it. See you again.